Oh man, today's the day guys. We're gonna need a lot of room though, a lot of room. <sighs> all right, I see Stradman do this all the time. Let's see if I can do it. Oh dang, look at this. We got it, the new Axial SCX-6. Holy crap, guys, we got it. I have been waiting for this day to open this beast up. This is the new Axial SCX-6. I got the gray one. They make another really cool color, the green. Um, yeah, that green looks pretty freaking sick. However, I did get the gray. I I'm That's cool, that's cool. The gray is really cool too. I like how it pops. We're about to bust this thing out of the box, but we're gonna go over the box panels really quick. Let's see, so I have, I know nothing about this car. And uh, yeah, we're opening it basically the exact same time you guys are gonna see it. Oh man, I'm so excited. We're gonna look over all the features of this thing and then we're also going to drive the thing today, see how it runs. I'm curious about the electronic system. Oh my God, I have so many questions, I'm so excited. Oh man, the green though, that green looks so sick. So good, there they are side by side. Again, more of the box panels. Let's see what some of this says. Heavy duty AR90 axles, universal joint axles, aluminum adjustable coil over shocks, three link front, four link rear suspension, wild board drive shafts. Oh man. All right, hold on, hold on. We got, we got more body panels. Oh, let's flip this. Flip it one more time. Oh man, look at this. this so it looks just like a SCX10, just a, a scaled up XCX10, which makes sense. Oh look, the LED lights are included. So that means we'll be able to drive this thing at night. A 15 kg servo. There it is. The crawler 120 amp sensor brushless smart ESE. Very nice. I don't think they put that one in any of the other cars that I've seen. There's the motor, the 1200 kV sensor brushless motor. Two speed metal gear transmission. Nice, two speed. There's the steering servo. Oh, actually, wait a second. What's this one? This is Metal Gear Servo. But this one's a, this is included and installed waterproof spectrum, large scale metal, metal servo produces impressive torque, 537 ounces of torque for responsive dependable steering control. The chassis also accepts larger fifth scale servos if desired. Nice. So I wonder what that servo's for. That servo may be for the shifting. Yeah, that's for the, the two speed shifter. Golly, so that servo's a beast. That should be plenty. Like B of Goodrich KM3 tires and and black Rhino wheels. Sorry, I'm getting excited. Multiple battery locations, very, very nice. I'm assuming we're gonna be able to run a 3S in this thing. Oh my God, we, we gotta bust this thing open, guys. We gotta bust it open. Sorry guys, I apologize. I got so excited, I didn't even shoot the intro. What is up guys, my name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog guys. Obviously today, we are going over the new Axial SCX6. It's the new six scale RC crawler by Axial and this thing is absolutely insane. So let's get back to it. Okay, here she is again. All right, the first thing Melissa noticed, I noticed is look guys, there is a guy in there. We have a driver and he's wearing a cowboy hat. Let's see him from the front. Oh man. And guys, this thing is enormous. It's huge. I even Melissa, as soon as she saw it, she wanted to pick it up to see how heavy it was. This thing is big. I'll do some comparisons. I'll put some cars, like common cars that a lot of people have next to it so you guys can get an idea of how big it really is. As for a proper unboxing, I'll show you guys what comes in the box. It comes with these. I think these are the, the the buckets for the lights in case you want to take the lights out. So they're like the covers. Looks like there's a, uh, a warranty card, your manual, and then some extra stickers, and then the remote. There is something special about the remote that I just noticed. Check this out. After we just got done doing all that content with the one-handed driving, look. Spectrum has a one-handed one remote, which is freaking nice. So you can steer with your thumb. This looks very similar to the remote that comes on the LMT. I like this remote. It's got telemetry. We'll show you the battery level on your on your car. 
The other thing I was concerned about, not concerned, but wondering about is what kind of battery to run. I did open up the manual. I did a little bit of research and you can run a two to three S bat, two or three S battery. It did say that you could do shorty packs also. There's actually three spots to mount the battery and I'll show you that in a little bit. But guys, this thing, massive, massive tank. Okay, let's get to taking this body off. Actually, before we take the body off, let's just appreciate some of the details on this body. Look at the windshield wipers here. Uh, here are the headlights. You can kind of see, not really, but there are, there are actual LEDs in there um, going around here. The body clips, no body clip, no body clip uh, holes body posts like on most cars the body clips go on the bottom which makes it look more scale nice detail with the door handles these are plastic door handles the mirrors oh they don't they don't fold back no they don't fold back but they are plastic mirrors they are detachable i would assume they're detachable mirrors moving on to the back you have your gas cap there nice wheels these tires are big they, they they're it's hard to explain how big they are. They're bigger than like your big UDR, UDR wheels. They're, they're huge. So let me rotate this a smidge. This thing is, oh my God, it's heavy. All right, there we go. Um, here's the back of it. Nice bumper. It's got an axial license plate on it. Again, the door handles, the detail. I love the little detail. Look, the actual headlights are, they're, they're big pieces of plastic, which is kind of cool. Okay. You can also see, look, you can see the roll bar in the back, which is really cool. It's like those little details are awesome. Let's take the body off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, one thing I will note is the body, it's not light. It's got a lot of plastic on it, but that's good. It's a big car, so it needs to be a little heavy. So here is the car with the body off. It's got a motor. Man, that's freaking awesome. And I mean, an engine. It has an engine. I wonder if you can know, but if you had a hood, you could pull it up and you could see an engine there. Really cool. A big old servo. That's not your standard size servo. Oh my God, this can, motor can, enormous. There's a standard size servo for your gear shifter. You have three spots to mount batteries. And if you're doing long trail runs, maybe you can even mount three batteries. I'm gonna mount my battery on the back here because it's a little more balanced if you mount it on the side. I'm gonna run the 3S uh, 50C Spectrum battery, smart battery. But very, very nice. You got all big old fenders here to keep the dirt from getting in. Nice rock sliders. Oh man, I can't wait to get this thing to run. Comes with the IC5 connectors. Looks like it's kind of strapped in there, but oh, geez, we got we got to turn this thing on because I want to see what the headlight looks headlights look like. Look at these linkages, guys. These linkages are huge. Another thing I noticed that was interesting: the the on button is under there. You see it right right there, kind of right a little white dot. That's the on button. So you kind of reach up from under it, which is cool because you don't have to pull the body up. But which is interesting because you know that's going to get really muddy and wet. Here's under the car. The linkages are huge. Huge linkages, but look at that motor. That motor's huge also. Here are the, a I think they're AR90 axles. Man, this thing is an absolute beast. Look at those shocks. Wow. Let's see. Let's, let's do some articulation here. Oh, dang. Look at that. We're going to drive this thing so you guys can see the actual articulation, but... This thing is massive, massive, massive. All right, guys, here it is. So I have, it's next to a whole bunch of cars that a lot of people have, just so you get some side-by-side -side comparisons on how big this car is. This thing is huge. So there it is next to the SCX24. Here's a 10 scale Jeep. This is Melissa's Jeep. We're gonna put it next to it. There's it next to a 10 scale Jeep. Uh, short course, everyone has a short course. Here's what it looks like next to a short course. Here, let's put it kind of, oh, oh, I just dropped it on top. There's what it looks like next to a short course. There's the Outcast 8S next to it. So very similar in size, actually. There you go. Next to an X-Max, <laughs> it's like bigger than the X-Max, holy crap. And then there is the UDR next to the Beast. I mean, this thing is huge, huge, huge. Oh man, okay, the battery's charging right now. We're about to drive the thing, but oh man, that looks so cool. All right, I got it all ready. I had to do a few things. I put the battery on the right side of the car because the motor seems to be a little bit more to the left side of the car. And I did, and Traxxas does this, basically put the shocks down. So basically screw this, the spring down a little bit. So increase the ride height on the side where the battery is. That way it's nice and level. I had to add 
the old MSM Nation on there, the MSM on the back, and the MSM on the sides. But nonetheless, we're ready to fire this thing up and just see, let's see what the lights look like. And we'll drive it outside, see how the two speed works. And then I'm gonna find a spot and we're gonna do some actual crawling. So here we go. Let's make, hopefully this thing doesn't just take off and hit me. So let's power it up here. Oh, there's the lights. Please don't take off running. Whoa, it's, it's moving. All right, so the lights on the front look really cool. And the lights on the back. Let's go drive this thing. All right, luckily I got the thumb steer. All right, so we're in the low gear, I'm assuming now because it's super slow and we'll give it some throttle. That is full throttle. That's full throttle in the low gear. Let's turn it into the, the high gear here. It's just this little button on the thumb here. Just basically I'll push it down. Whoa! Whoa, that's fast. Here, let's go, let's go. We gotta go on the street. Hold on, let me close the door. Oh my god. And second gear, the high gear, it's um, yeah, it's it's pretty fast. I'm pretty stoked to see how fast it goes. Oh, there's a car coming. Of course there's a car coming right now. Jeez. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not like crazy fast. It looks like it does have some drag brake. Whoa, it came up on three wheels there. That's full throttle, 3S in second gear. Nice and controllable. Obviously you don't want it super fast. I mean, it's a crawler, so, oh, the turn radius is not the greatest. Maybe it's just because the diffs are locked. So here we go. Man, that thing looks super cool. Okay, let's let's see how, how it runs on the low gear. Yeah, it's because the diffs are locked. All right, going back to the low gear. That's full throttle and low gear. There you go, high gear, nice. All right, we gotta find a crawling spot because this thing needs to get its crawl on. Uh, I'm still kind of getting used to the whole driving with one hand thing, but you know, it is what it is. Oh man, that looks so sweet, so sweet. Oh man, look at her, low gear. Oh, you know that thing is a crawling machine if that's how slow it crawls. Let's see how, let's see how it tackles this curb here. Hit the bumper first. Oh man, it's got so much torque. Look at all that ground clearance. Didn't hit under at all. Let's go back. Yeah, it's not hitting anything. No linkages hit. I mean, it's got enough ground clearance to easily go up the curb. Usually whenever you go up the curb on cars, it does chassis a little bit, hit some of those links, but nothing. Oh God. It looks so good. Let's see if we can pop a wheelie. Whoa! Torque twist. Okay, let's go find a spot.
All right, guys, we did break something. We broke this linkage right here. I think I'm just, I think I can just screw it back in, but I mean, it makes sense. This thing is big and heavy. I let Melissa drive for a little bit while I was watching some of the feet, the uh, playback. And she said, she rolled, she was at the top of that hill and rolled off. I know I didn't get it. She was so mad at me that I didn't get it. But when she came off the bottom or when we got to the bottom, it was broken. So it did break. However, I think I can just screw that. In. I'm going to put a little bit of CA glue in there, um, right there. Which that's not too bad. Put a little bit of CA glue and then screw back on, and then we should be back in business. But man, this thing is freaking awesome. So what do you think, guys? I think it's awesome. I mean, it's so big and heavy that whenever it actually crawls over the rocks, it's very controllable. That was so much fun crawling. I can't wait. I'm gonna take it to the creek tomorrow, and uh, you guys are actually gonna see it crawling with other crawlers. I'm gonna take it and show everybody what it's all about. It's a super cool car. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Actually, you know what? I might not even have a link in the description below because it might release so early that the link one might not even be there. But nonetheless, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe because there's going to be more content with this thing. I've got, I got some pretty cool ideas what I'm going to do with this thing really soon. So subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.